Hello everybody, my name is Jose Suarez. This is my Twitch channel. I go by the moniker Azulejo63. You can follow me on Twitter at A-Z-U-L-E-J-O-6311. I won't be brought, uh, you know, putting much out there, but I wouldn't mind uh, comments on how the, the feed went either there or through the chat line. I got a lot of experience DMing, uh, quite a bit playing as well, mostly DMing though. This is an opportunity for me to post my game that I've been running for about a year uh, on Roll20 without broadcasting to the broadcast through Twitch. I'm not looking to make money. I'm not going to ask for anyone to subscribe to the channel and pay $4.99. I'm just asking you guys to bear with us as we play a game. I only have one experienced role player in my group. The rest of them, well, they're kind of new and they come from video games, so they really don't know how to talk up. You'll hear a lot of, uh, I'm going to attack with my mace or with my axe instead of doing a little bit of role training uh, like, uh, well, let's say my, one of my, my Dwarven Clarys would go, Flint rushes up and smashes them with the war hammer. Then I roll my dice and let them know. Uh, the DM knows, if, tell me if I hit or not and how much damage I do. Uh, I don't say I'm swinging it. I'm just, uh, I, you know, I act it out and I put a voice on. They're still learning all that kind of stuff. They are quite new. They're used to playing MMOs, and this is definitely not an MMO. Uh, I would like for anyone watching this channel when we broadcast to use the chat room to give us an opportunity to perfect our craft as role players and become more immersified in it. Um, if you do subscribe to the channel, all I promise you is that we're going to try to make a broadcast every week. The schedule is above. The next game is going to be on the 17th. There will be no game on the 31st or the 7th uh, because of other commitments that I've made. Uh, New Year's, there's definitely no way we're going to get together then. And we're playing every two weeks in order to work with the schedule I have with another DM that runs a game every other week. Uh, for for instance, the, this weekend, the 10th, I'll be playing an all-night session at a local gaming store. Whereas uh, I'll be open to run this game the week after. That's why the schedule is the 17th of December, January 14th and 28th. I'll update the schedule on here going forward. Uh, every other week, as soon as we are confirmed, I will have the new date at the very top confirming when the next game will be. And I thank you, every single one of you that do subscribe to this channel, for helping me teach and helping me run my game with uh, my group of players. Uh, you'll probably not see my face that often on the stream. Uh, I want to tell the story, but I'm strictly as a narrator, not as a part player. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let my players tell the story. I'm just going to put obstacles in front of them and see how they fare against them. I am not a Matt Mercer. So all you critters out there, don't compare us. Ah, there's no comparison. He's the boss. I'm just a lowly a DM just trying to get along in the world and, and run my own little game. For those of you that are Chris Perkins fans, yeah, I'm not that outrageous either. I'm pretty much straightforward and a straight shooter when I talk to my players. I try not to give them too much, but I do try to challenge them. I believe in a very simple rule of uh, thought that if it's not at least 10% deadly every adventure, then they're not going to be stressed. They're not going to be pushed. Even when they're doing a lot of role-playing, uh, communication, chatting with non-player characters, there's an element. there has to be an element of threat. Um, that's all I really have to say for you guys. I hope you guys will give uh, my, show, my uh, show a chance. I'm just going to call it straightforward what it is. It's a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition homebrew game run on Roll20. Hope you guys will join us on the 17th. All games start at 9 p.m. Eastern because all of us players are in the Eastern time zone and it works best for all of us. You take care and I hope to see you in a week. Have a good day.